Ruby Chibi Episode 9. Now this one they actually did something very different. We actually got much longer sketches. We technically only got two. And they were much longer so it was kind of um, the big build up and pay off sort of deal instead of smaller little pieces here and there with little silly stuff and things like that. And I like this episode. I like both skits. Um, I think I enjoyed the second one a lot more than I enjoyed the first one because it was really simple and it was just, you know, like little stuff here and there. Like my favorite thing, of course, was the very end. But I like some of the little stuff they did. And, you know, Weiss is trying to study, of course, and Ruby's like, you know, she comes in and they have her like bent backwards almost. And she's just like, I'm bored. Let's hang out and do something. So I definitely enjoyed it. And when she's like scooting across the floor, she goes to the right of the screen and then she comes out of the left of the screen. I thought that was funny. And then she just jumps up and just starts like flopping around like a fish and it's just like you made me do this i love that that was a really great ending i thought that was really funny and then the second sketch i thought was really really good I, first off we got to see a ton of ren which i swear i feel like we saw more of him in this one little skit that we did like most of the series honestly but it was cool to get a lot of him um it starts off it's like he had like the cutest little thing um when Pyrrha like rubs john's head and then she basically does like the little boop on his nose i was like that was super cute and sad but it was really cool and so he gets tagged and then they do like the crazy like 360 spin around thing because he's just in like a crisis now like he's it and it was so funny he had his own like uh training montage and stuff and they go through the whole process with him and he trains and he's doing you know the push-ups and he was doing like one finger push-ups at first which i was like dang he's cut that strength and then he's doing like no hand push-ups just blowing on the ground and it was so funny like all the silly stuff they did with that and him training and then he's like training on top of his Y at one point and then he's like floating on top of a fan and then he's catching like peppermints with chopsticks for some reason and you know Ruby's like you know you're ready and he goes like full serious mode he's got his bandana and everything and at first like the way they did it I thought he tagged Nora so hard, like, he almost, like, snapped her neck. I thought she was gonna, like, fall backwards or something, but he was, like, tag. And then she was, like, just headbutts him and, like, tagged back, and he's just, like, oh, and he's just, like, broken and unconscious. And I love that ending, and then they do, like, the spin around. I thought for sure, with the way they were doing that spin, I thought for sure when it first started that game over was gonna come up like it was just gonna fade in and say game over and just spin around him until it went off but i like the way they did that one and she i mean she just headbutt him so hard like he pushed her head like all the way back and she just boom and he's unconscious and then she walked on him like she was like skipping over his she like hopped i think she stepped on like the bottom of his foot and then her second step was like on his head and then she was just like skipping down the hallway and he's knocked out but of course, he regains his composure at the end, and they get, like, he's knocked out, and then as soon as he comes to, he's like, hmm, and the wind, like, wind randomly starts blowing, because the bandana, I noticed, started, like, flowing again, and I thought that was funny, but I like this one. Um, I thought it was cool that they did, like, longer skits and stuff. Like I said, I personally thought the second one was better than the first one. I felt the first one, of course, it had build up, and it had a good payoff, because that was really silly, her, like, just flopping around. And then passing out because she got so tired just from doing that and it, she passed out automatically. But I definitely liked the second one more. I thought it was, you know, it was it had like a huge payoff, but it was also funnier in its little increments. I thought it had more funny moments than the first part did, which I think only really made me laugh when she went across the screen and came out of the other side and then the actual final moment. And everything else was just like, you know, she's it's just silly, but it didn't really make me laugh. So that's why I like the second one better than the first one. And plus, you know, we got more Team Juniper, which is always cool. And a ton of Ren is, the, you know, the main focus for the second half of this episode. But certainly enjoyable. Definitely uh, want to know what you guys thought about it. So please comment below. Let me know. Well, there are only two skits. I normally say, like, your favorite skits and least favorite skits. So I definitely want to know if you like the first one better or the second one better. And because this is the first episode that really did, like, you know, really it's only two. Because we've had longer skits before. I think um, episode two kind of did that in the beginning with Blake when it, she was like the cat burglar. That was probably the longest one that we had. And maybe the first, the very first episode, maybe the cookie thing, um, may have been just as long as these two, if not longer. Um, but I, I would love to know what you guys think about that idea. Like, would you prefer it to have longer skits or would you prefer a bunch of smaller skits? Because I know some people like the idea that it's a bigger payoff when you're waiting for it. 
but I still feel like they didn't, you know, they've done great jobs. Like, I, like, I laugh like crazy when they did the, um, the Ruby Weiss fight, and it wasn't even for the fight, like, the fight itself made me laugh, but seriously, like, the two to three seconds of Zwei bouncing around like tumbleweed, that was my favorite part of that entire episode, and that really wasn't even the main point of the skit. It was that they were, like, about to fight, and then they do a silly slap fight. So, for me personally, I'd rather have a bunch of little skits, because we get to see a lot of different things, instead of just two, and then, you know, the episode's over. Because they're all, you know, they're such short episodes. I kind of, personally, I'd rather see a bunch of little skits than longer ones, because we already only have, you know, five-minute episodes. And I feel like this one was shorter, too, but maybe that's because, you know, it was just two big skits instead of, you know, little pieces here and there. But... For me personally, I would prefer smaller skits because they still make me laugh, and I've, you know, like I said, I've laughed harder um, at the smaller stuff than I even did at these two. Like I laughed a lot, definitely at the floppy, you know, fish ruby thing, and just I was just stunned at the end when Nora did like such a hard head butt and took ran out. But I've definitely laughed a lot at the, you know, the really quick small stuff too. So. I wouldn't mind that. Personally, like I said, I'd prefer it because the episodes are already so small. I'd love for them to just jump around and let's see as much as we can and much as much silliness as we possibly can. But I would love to know what you guys prefer. Do you prefer, you know, longer skits with the payoff at the end so we, you know, maybe get just two per episode? Or do you prefer, like I do, where we get, you know, probably like the three or four skits and there may be, you know, instead of, because I think this was about three minutes, almost four minutes, so... Each one was about a minute and a half. Um, and, you know, like I said, I think that was okay. But I think I prefer the smaller ones. So, we'd love to know what you think. And, of course, what you thought about this episode in general. So, please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.